Lately, Ryobi has really been cranking out some new products and bringing them to the market, including some from this category that I'm going to be reviewing today and talking about. It's the lifestyle products. So I think these products are going to make your summer much more enjoyable. And if you like to get outside, I think several of these are going to be worth mentioning and something that you're going to want to consider. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how I made this Ryobi drink right here. It's not an alcoholic, by the way. So it's something that's refreshing for the summertime. So let's start off first with this item right here that's closest to me, this fan. So the price right here, the tool only is $24.98. This is a four inch clamp fan that has a low speed, a high speed, and then it clamps onto different things. It, the battery is heavy enough, so it's nice to put on like a ledge or something, some type of flat surface like this table. So then the top right here rotates that all around multi-directional, it goes this way too. So pretty much anywhere that you clamp this, anywhere you're sitting, this you can point towards you. So I think a lot of these will be handy around the house, but also if you're into camping too, I think this would be awesome to have in a tent. And over here we have the 18 volt one plus high powered inflator. So the tool only 3497. It also can be used as a duster. So when you pull the trigger, if you're in your shop, you have a bunch of sawdust, let's say like on your table saw or somewhere else, you can blow the sawdust off and clean it. And when you pull the trigger, you can either just use it temporarily or you hold it back and click it to lock and it'll stay running. And then it has this big nozzle right there for high volume of air. You put it in there to deflate your mattresses or whatever you have. And then you have this other little nozzle right here. It's this adapter for the smaller ones. Let me know down below if you're into tubing or not. I just find that that's a really great way to hit the reset button just to enjoy nature. There's been some times where we tube that we've actually seen some eagles, some bald eagles, so that's pretty fun to see. In the years past, before anything like this, we either had one that would plug into the cigarette adapter in the car, or we had one with the C batteries, and then if you don't take those batteries out, they'd often corrode the next year. So it's just nice having something that's reliable like this right here. All right, so let's see how fast it takes to inflate this. I'm gonna go ahead, ready? And then we have this little one right here. This is the head pillow. This has that smaller one, the older style valve. So the adapter just fits right on the end of this. Let's give that a try. It shouldn't take long. So this style right here, the Intex River Run, is probably the best as this mesh bottom, and it's very comfortable. So if you want to deflate, it'll suck the air in this way and blow it out that way, just the opposite. A couple weeks ago, I was in Home Depot and I saw this for the first time. So this is another one of their clamp features. This is a clamp light, so you can see. So the price on this, $39.97, tool only. So this has that same clamp feature, and you have this long gooseneck, I call it, that can really move to a lot of different positions. And when it comes to the clamps on all these items that I'm featuring, they'll hold on to something up to an inch and three quarters. Okay, so the, to turn it on, it's right here. This has 400 lumens of light, that little gray button. I'm gonna have to get you a video clip when it's a little darker out, but it has a flood mode on it. So if you pull this forward or back, you can zoom in on a spotlight or pull back on a floodlight. So just thought this was really cool. I can see this coming in handy, not just for like the lifestyle things, but for a lot of other items around the house when you have power outages. Whoa, that is bright. So it is a little top heavy. You just have to be aware of that. So check out the flood. It's real wide and it can really zoom in on a tight spot. Right on the side of the house. To see pretty cool so the next thing we have right here this is the ryobi burst clamp speakers so for the tool only like this they are 59.97 they're a bluetooth speaker they have that same clamp the omnidirectional so what's cool with this is you can connect pretty much as many speakers as you want 100 plus speakers and they can all be within 150 feet of range and these will talk to each other 
So you have like this one right here is actually my primary speaker. I'll turn it on so you can see. Power on, primary transmitting. So connected. So this will connect to my phone or my laptop, something like that. So it transmits to this. This is the primary. When I turn this one on. Searching for primary, secondary sync. So when I play my music through this, it'll automatically go through here. And what's really interesting, the very first time that I tested this out, I put them throughout the living room, my house, and the kitchen, the dining room area. I have three speakers. And when I walked through the house, you didn't hear a delay between one to the other. They were all in sync, which I thought was awesome. So if you're looking to bring some music or some entertainment to your outdoor space, even your indoor space, this works really well. So another cool thing that I found, you can use your iPhone as a PA. So let's say you have an event and you want to be able to talk to everybody like in a 150 foot range, you can talk to your phone and it'll announce it through all the speakers, which I thought was really cool. So earlier this spring, I brought these to some tennis courts with my boys and I just test them out by clamping onto some things. I'm talking into the mic. So I'm this far over from the courts. So you can get a sense of how it works. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, tennis players. Everyone meet at court number three. Okay, watch, we're gonna hit the play button. This is some royalty free music. All right, let's go over here. Get the rest of the speakers going. Power on. Turn this one on. It's all Power fast. on. Secondary sync. So we have so the primary, secondary, secondary. All right, so check this out. So this is the primary. Hit the pause button. And that will pause the other two speakers. Watch this, we turn that back on. Now if we hit the off button. Power off. That automatically turns the rest of them off. So you don't have to go through and individually shut them off. Man, Logan still has it. All right, so I'll bring this from back here. This is a misting fan by Ryobi. So the tool only right now is priced at $71.76. So with your fan, you have your low speed, your high speed. So sometimes when I'm outside at night, it's a little bit humid. I wanna sit out here. I like having this fan. It really blows a lot of air across. And then if I wanna put this in a bucket to give me some mist, that works well. So I have a low and a high. It definitely puts out a fair amount of water, so it definitely cools you down. So my dog Oakley seems to really like that. All right, I guess, Oakley, what do you think? Do you approve? And then back here, this is the item I use at night. This is the Ryobi Bug Zapper. So I bought this earlier this summer. It's priced right now at $132. So when I'm sitting out here at night, I like to just have this to help draw the bugs away from me. So I can run this light right here. It has three settings, low, medium, and high. And then right up here, you can toggle by the runtime. So two, four, or six hours, and then it'll shut off. So it's a UV that just helps to attract the bugs in here. So periodically you'll just hear a little zap, nothing too extreme sounding. Sometimes I'll be sitting out here for five or 10 minutes, you hear nothing. Another time you'll hear like three little zaps in a row, but not too loud, but just something that makes the outdoor living space at night more enjoyable. All right, if you're looking for more lighting, this is the 850 lumen lantern right here. So this is something if you wanna light up your whole tent or your whole work area outdoors, this is a nice option for that. So it runs on any 18 volt battery. Price tool only $39.97, just like that. Very lightweight and portable. And cool thing is, has a USB-A. So if you wanna plug in and charge your phone or some other electronics, you can do that. And then right here is a power button. So that's it. It has a hook right there where you can hang it or you know just on the battery very solid base. So let's turn it on for you. Starts out on high, then medium, and then low, then off. So it just toggles between all those. 
So sometimes there's not too many bugs outside. I'll use this when I'm sitting out there. But I think for just lighting up an area like camping or something like that, this is a great item to bring along. Here's something that will quench your thirst on a hot summer day. It's called the Ryobi Refresher. I'm gonna make the portions a little bigger. So instead of six ounces, I'm gonna use nine ounces. So first of all, we're gonna put some lemonade in. Then I have these packets of lime. I'm gonna use one and a half packets. Stir it up each time. And then nine ounces of the lime sparkling water. Then a big cup of ice. So just stir it up. It's got a little fizz to it. Cheers. All right, so this drink is quite tart, which works well on a hot summer day. All right, now let's go over here and check out the cooler. All right, so here it is. This is the Ryobi 18 volt, one plus 24 quart hybrid battery powered iceless cooler. And for the tool only price, it's $4.99. So this can be a almost like a mini fridge or a freezer. So it does go down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, and this will maintain the temperature all the way up to 68 degrees. So that's the range. And you can run it off AC power like this. There's also an adapter to run it off 12 volt off your car, or there's room right here for two batteries, two of the 18 volt batteries. So this has a 24 quart capacity, or it also will hold up to 40 12 ounce cans. So if I wanna put two batteries in here, this will actually hold the bigger batteries that they just came out with, the new nine amp hour and 12 amp hour if you wanna run those in this. Here's a look at one of the four amp hour batteries, and there's just all types of clearance in there. So what Ryobi recommends if you're gonna use batteries to get the most life out of it, is to pre-chill everything in here first, either with the AC power or 12 volt power, and then switch over to batteries, and that's where you'll get your long run time. So it's really easy to use this. There's a digital display and you just toggle up and down with a plus or minus to whatever temperature you want. And then right here, if you wanna charge one of your devices, you can plug a USB-A in there. So it's running right now. I can just feel a little bit of a breeze coming out from here. So what it's doing is taking the heat from there and it's going out this way. But this is very quiet. Let's say you had it inside your tent. It's something that you would hardly even notice. So I was just checking the website on the runtime. They say you'll get up to 23 continuous hours of runtime with two of the nine amp hour batteries. And on both sides right here, we have some tie down loops because you wouldn't want this bouncing around the back of your truck. So just well thought out and the wheels work really well. So just good quality. So overall, I'm very happy with this. All right, it's time to run this fan. Much better. It's pretty humid out today. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about some of these new Ryobi products. If there's something I left out that you have some questions on, let me know. I'd like to also hear what your comments are on some of these products right here. And you know, if you think of another product that should have been in this on this list right here, let me know. I'd be happy to add it in the video description. Just some other things that are worth pointing out. But this is a quick list that I came up with. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.